Hello, Nomads Cult, and this video is about the vertex material presets. So it only works with version 191. So you can buy such um, vertex materials on my Etsy shop. So um, the link is in the in the description. So let's see what the vertex material does or do. So here in the painting menu you see here your texture slots and so on and here in the new version 191 there's a preview of the material you're using at the moment. So at the moment here's a dinosaur skin. So when I press here on this icon the sub menu opens with the um, whole textures and um, materials. So these are the materials you get when you purchase uh, from the Etsy shop. And I yeah, add you the file gets updated. So okay. So let's use uh, such a texture here and select it. So maybe this one. And here on the side menu, you find here the intensity slider. You can set the intensity for this thing. And you find here um, the tri planner paint all thing. So when you press paint all, the material is applied with a set intensity. So higher intensity, yeah, more offset. Okay, the other thing is you, uh, you have to know is um, I turn on here the wireframe so, and watch the poly count. So here the sphere is about 400,000 vertices. So here in the multi-resolution when I change it here, so maybe to this here and I press paint all, you get a complete different result. So the higher the poly count, um, so the, you need a high poly count. <laughs> okay to get nice effects on this. So I use 300,000 at the moment and it works fine. So let's test a few other materials here. I scroll a little bit down. So let's take a, a material like iron. So here, um, iron beaten up metal. So you can also use here the brush to um, apply the material. So, and here you see at the moment, uh, the symmetry is active. Um, so I turn it off so that there's no symmetry. And so this is the, the material, the iron material. So it's also possible and very effective to use here layers. So I add now a new layer and I'm using another material. So see organic noise so such a, a rainbow oil effect so you see here when I brush here along it gets such a, a burnt rainbow effect so you can use it on a <coughs> Yeah, 
yeah, it looks like this. And um, so let's play around with this uh, things here. What you get. Okay, so the other thing is here, you see here your texture slots and the, um, the things here, um, the checkboxes. So you can turn off here every map. So uh, if you need no rough roughness, so the, um, uncheck the checkbox. So I go a step back. So this is the material without roughness. It's a little bit glossy. And with uh, the checkbox on, so the roughness is there. Um, okay, so it's also possible here on the left side. So I'm using the intensity slider. You see here now the displacement. And when the intensity here is zero, so only the color is applied. So like this. So, okay. And the other thing is, if you want only the displacement here, so this is for the displacement. And here this slider is for the color. And you see here the checkbox for stroke painting. So checkbox off and paint all, sorry, the triplanner paints all, but um, here you can use now the brush without um, affecting or the color like this. So, and it's also possible here to change the, the color intensity. So maybe you want more or less. So increase or decrease uh, the paint intensity. So you get different results. Okay. So. So maybe we paint this in tri planner, and then um, here you find um, such noise um, textures or something like this and you add a layer, so then press paint all, then the noise is applied. And here via the layer slider, you can change the offset of this uh, noise. So then it gets like this, so you can change it like this. So also the color you can uh, you have effect on every uh, um, yeah, slider here and change the whole thing and it's also possible yeah i'm i'm <laughs> i'm talking only uh, i'm playing with this and um, i try to explain what you can do with this whole thing so i'm using at the moment the mask tool and maybe I'm um, disabling the painting. So here I mask a part, and maybe here. And so let's go back to the material paint thing. And let's use here such a a brain material and we can add a new layer so now only the unmasked areas are affected and so make sure here at the moment the stroke painting you see here this checkbox so now when we use this And yeah, 100,000 possibilities to use this whole thing here. And 
or paint all triplanar this is, that's too much so when such things happen so the intensity is much too high so like this so the next thing is here i go a few steps back so here in the um, in the yeah, settings here of the stroke you find here the alpha menu sub menu and you see here the projection um, so it's set to tri planner you can change it here to world and local and the parameter is repeat and repeat uh, you can also use mirror mirror and so on and here this is for the scaling so like this and you see here a preview button so when you change here the scaling you see a live preview on the mesh what happens so now when i use here the the paint all you see here what you get and also the the intensity slider adjusted a little bit and yeah. so let's test the other one like this and now back to the alpha settings here and use um, and the preview so this is the preview and then paint all this is what you get so the next thing is here when you use here the layer option here add a layer and paint all tri planner you find here a delete layer brush here so this is a default brush so now here it's possible to um, erase the parts of the displacement texture or material here and then it's possible when you add a new layer to use a new material and paint here with a stroke like this so there are a lot of different materials so you find here um, also yes human skin So like this here and this is such a, a skin texture and so here's the, the knitting, uh, where is it, patina, chainmail or let's use a chainmail texture here such. Um, so this is for chain mails so I close the whole things um, here is a nice uh, material for bones so this is a uh, for a skull maybe mm. yeah clay textures or materials fabric yeah and maybe use this so such things or fruits here fruit fruit skin um, maybe such a strawberry effect here 
So, and as I said, uh, here it's possible to delete the layer and uh, erase the parts you don't need. So, oh yeah, hundred things to explain. Yeah, I think just play with it and um, that's it for this video. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.